Ready? Hey guys, we made it to Michigan. We've actually been here for a couple of days and, and I yeah, we're gonna go play. We, I honestly have just like not picked up the camera hardly. It's been so nice to just like relax and not do anything, not think about anything. It's like so peaceful here, but it is freezing. Um, it's really, really cold because of that. Okay, okay. Yep. Yep, okay. Um, but because of that Arctic vortex, Thing that came in but today's a little bit warmer it's like it's like 28 degrees today so we are actually headed to the children's museum and he's really excited so yeah we're gonna go play they can't see you when you do that okay um, so anyways, we're about to head out to do that, um, but yeah, we haven't really done anything since we've been here, um, so it's been really nice, and my parents are like way out in the country, out in the woods, so it's just, where is your drink, Gunner? It's in the living room. So anyways, it's been kind of like peaceful since I've been here, so we are about to head out and go have some fun. I'm driving, you're smiling, just really doing nothing. That's the thing I like about you. Mm. On the highway, it's our way. Route 66 and we keep on driving We just do what we wanna do Yeah No, nothing's complicated with you
You're cold. I got Let's mittens. Let's go inside. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. You done? You done? Go give him another hug. Aww. You're so cute. Okay. This eye that's got this hat. His hat? Yeah. It's got the seat. Okay. It's my seat. It's my seat. Come on, Mark. Okay. You're going to freeze solid Come on, here. it's cold. <laughs> So we are back from Michigan and I have to say it's been really nice just like getting away and visiting family and traveling, going on vacation, all of that, but it is so great to be home, especially when you are dealing with an Arctic vortex and you get to come home to spring-like weather. I am not kidding you guys, it is so beautiful out. It's like, it's supposed to be 77 degrees today. I'll have to check the temperature because I think it's warmer than that. Um, but I'm like grabbing something out of my closet. Um, but it is so nice out, I have the windows open, I'm in a tank top, like it's amazing. Um, it's actually starting to get a little warm in here. It's 76 in here right now. So yeah, it's 82 outside right now. I didn't vlog a whole lot while we were in Michigan because we just ended up not really doing a whole lot. Um, the weather just really made it hard because it was so cold out. I mean, they were really only recommending that people be outside for no more than 10 minutes at a time. And then my niece was supposed to be there, but she ended up being sick with RSV, so we really didn't get to spend time with her and do anything that we really wanted to do. So we honestly just chilled like the entire time. It was kind of nice and relaxing, and I really just didn't even think to pick up the camera a whole lot because it was just nice like just being in those moments and just spending time with my family and just like relaxing like I just didn't even have to think about anything but um I wanted to show you guys really quick what I'm doing for Valentine's Day for Gunner not for him but for his class um because that's next week already it's so crazy I've had several of my friends like already starting to go into panic mode because they completely forgot that Valentine's Day is next week and they need to plan something for their kids schools um so I'm going to share with you really quick what I'm doing. I'm going to just like put it together and it's really easy. I got everything from Target, um, but all of the stuff that I got and everything that I'm doing, you could totally recreate the whole concept from things from like the Dollar Tree or Walmart, Hobby Lobby, wherever. Let me go get my tripod and get this going. I picked up these cute little bags from the dollar spot at Target. Gunner is really into dinosaurs right now so I thought this would be really fun. It says Friendosaurus and they have other prints to choose from and there's like more girly ones, there's some like really boyish ones and then there's like some gender neutral as well. Um, and I do know that you can get still get pretty much everything that I have still from Target. I've been to several Targets in the last week and all of them are still in stock with a, a lot of these things. I also got these cute little oozy slime things. So they're just like little packets of slime that I thought would be fun to put in there. And you get six in each package and these were a dollar as well. So I have a couple packs of those. 
And then I also just got these little mini sticker sheets. I thought these would be really fun to put in there. You get 28, so I figured I would just put a couple in each little bag. But I just think they're so adorable. And then these. Um, and then, oh yeah, so there's blue and orange slime in these. And then here are the actual cards that I'm putting in them. So they say your roar some. <laughs> which are so cute and they have little stickers and envelopes to slide in there. And then I didn't want to do like a ton of candy because I know that some of the parents there are a little like weird about doing too many like treats and stuff. So I wanted to keep it really simple and I just went with something that Gunnar really loves. So I'm just going to quickly assemble all of these um, and put them together. Broken, I'm just split in two. Hope you're fine and got time. I'm not broken, not broken, not broken. How could they say I was broken? How could they say you made me come undone? Now I know that it's okay. Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them. dishwasher we just got home Gunnar had his 30 month checkup this morning and everything was good I did also want to give you guys an update on our fertility like trying to conceive journey so I mentioned to you guys if you if you are not like up to speed on that and you don't know what I'm referencing I will link that video here um, but if you saw my last video in regards to it, then um, I mentioned having to get like some other tests done and whatnot. I just have to have some blood work done and then I also have to have a sonohistogram done, which is basically where they like take saline or dye and they put it into your tubes to make sure that you don't have any blockages. And it's not a fun procedure, I'm not gonna lie. Like the last time I had it was super uncomfortable and I definitely had some pain with it but I'm having it done this time at my OBGYN and that is going to be on Tuesday so if everything comes back okay with that and like my blood test looks okay then um, we will actually start Lupron injections on the 23rd um, so I have to have this done like cycle day six through somewhere between cycle day six and 11. And I will be on cycle day 10 on Tuesday. So I did actually start my period on Sunday like I thought I was going to. Um, so I was right on track with that. And um, so yeah, everything is kind of moving along with all of that. So I wanted to give you guys that update. Um, just like with all of these things, I, I'm going to try to film that procedure. I don't know because I'm gonna be in there by myself. Chris is not gonna be there with me. And um, also like I know certain doctor's offices are really weird about allowing you to film and do stuff like that. So I have to check with them and see. I may not even be up to doing it. I'm certainly going to try. I don't know, we'll kind of see what happens in the moment because I really do want to share like everything with you guys so that you know what to expect and, and kind of what's going on. Um, so we'll see <laughs> how that goes. But yeah, that is, ooh, that's has water all over it. Um, 
So that's the update on that. So far, everything seems to be falling into place, which is really good. Um, but we'll see. We're just going to keep going and keep praying about it and see whatever is in God's will for us um, with this whole process. So anyways, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here because I think this is probably going to be a little long now. I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah. As always, if you have questions about this whole process, definitely feel free to reach out to me directly. If you're not comfortable in leaving a message below, you can email me personally, DM me, whatever you want to do. Um, and I'm happy to answer because, you know, it's, it's hard to go through stuff like this. And it can be very scary. And like I said, it can be a very lonely time as well. So, um... Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure that you're subscribed if you are new and you want to continue following along in this journey and also hit that bell notification so that you can stay up to date on all of the updates that I give on this whole entire process. And um, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Bye.